Hello, my darlings, and this is Diva's Corner. If the shoe doesn't fit, get another pair. Just make sure they're cute. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, ladies. Now let's have a conversation. Let's talk about something that has been on my heart for a while, and that is hidden racism. Now when I say hidden racism, I mean that racist person that keeps it on the down low. They're a down low brother when it comes to it. They don't want to just come out and tell you that they are, but you know they are. You can feel their energy. Do you know what I'm kind of saying? The energy of someone that feeds off and you're like, wait a minute, you feel some type of way about me because of my color or because of my this or that. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, Courtney, have you experienced that? Yeah, I feel the reason that a lot of racism is hidden because people don't know that they're racist. Like people walk around, they say what they want to say, they do what they want to do, and they don't step back and think, well, why am I saying that? Or how mm -hmm. do I feel about that person? And it's not just one race, it's black people, white people, it's Asians, it's everybody. You need to step back and think, why am I saying this to this person? Because a lot of things you say may be hurtful, and you can just be ignorant to the situation. Hmm. I know, that's right. What about you, Barry? Um, racism is very apparent, but it's hidden because people know that they can't just come out and be, oh, I don't like you because you're black. So the same, they'll make little small snide comments like, you know, black girls, they wear their hair in those weaves. <laughs> they think it's cute. But yes, yeah, like she said, racism isn't just, you know, whites against blacks or vice versa. It, you know, it comes in all different shades, colors, creeds. Now, let me ask you this something since you are all women of color. Now, if a white person walked up to you and said, like you just said, oh, how do you get your hair like that? That that corn corn rolls, I like that weed. Can I still get tricks? <laughs> is that racist to you? Are you offended when someone says, oh, is that tricks? What's in your hair? I mean, come on now, it's 2012. Everybody has a weave, mm -hmm. everybody has clippings, everybody knows what braids are. It's not offensive, it's just ignorant and it gets annoying. It's kind of funny because we were just talking about that last night of how they just want to touch your hair. <laughs> And it's not okay to keep touching my hair, you know, leave it, leave it as it is. Please stop, don't put your dirty fingers through my hair because you don't want me coming up to you. Is this all of yours? Do you wash this every day? Mm. Do you want me, what, like, can you do this? Can you not grope my hair? Can you, <laughs> does that do grow? Right. Like, come on, you, you already do? know. And that's just a fact, ain't it? And we know that everybody up in here, and I, I'm not gonna lie, I do that all the time, but I think I'm an honorary <laughs> black person, so I can do that. But some of y'all is not, and you can't do that. So I think the, the motto of this, the, the motto, not the motto, the motto of this is we need to be a parent. Everyone needs to be a parent all the time when you're talking to people and how you talk to them and how you approach them and the way you look at them. We have to be aware of this all the time because it can come off to someone as so rude. And I think sometimes we say, why does that person look at us that type of way, or why do we not like them and they don't like us? I think it's all underneath, it's all under the surface. There's a nice little blanket on it, but we just can't talk about it. But I think it's important that mm -hmm. we stay aware of that. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? All yeah. the time. Y'all exactly. feel me? I mean. <laughs> and on that note, ladies, we gonna take a short break and we gonna be right back. Mm. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Welcome to Barry's Fashion, Fashion Corner. Corner. Barry, I have so much to tell you about Mm. Talk to me. Let me tell you how. I was out in the quad, right? Mm -hmm. And guess what I saw? What? A person wearing a skirt and Uggs. <gasps> Scandalous! That's oh. ridiculous. You're telling me. It was Where awful. is she? I don't know, and I don't want to see her. Woo. How about you? What do you have to tell me? You know what my biggest pet peeve is? What? When people mix up these three colors. Brown, black, and navy blue. Ooh. Why would you do that? You look like a bruise oh. or a skid mark, whichever oh. one. And it's so embarrassing. Embarrassing. You just want to put a big band-aid over them. You don't know what like, to do. Like, oh my God, you're a big boo-boo. <laughs> no, for real. That's really awful. Really? But you know what I saw today? It really, really bothered me. There was this girl walking. And you ever seen the movie Clueless? 
I did. Well, she looked just like she came right out of that movie as Stacey Dash. Oh I was so uncomfortable. She probably I was really cute as a know. button. No, she wasn't that cute. Um, well, she was cute, but... <laughs> we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else to add, Barry? Um, no, only that's really cute. Aw, I love you, Barry. I love you, too. <laughs> this has been Barry's Fashion, Fashion Corner. Corner. For the right price, I can be a Nigerian queen. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, Westchester, this is Gigi Smith, broadcasting from Psych Student Union. I'm here just to question a few people on the 2012 elections, just to see how much they really know. Come and take a walk with me. Okay, y'all, so I'm here with Devaney, and I just want to ask you a few questions about the 2012 elections, okay? Um, do you know who you're voting for? I'm voting for Obama. Obama, okay, we got another Obamian. All right. <laughs> Do you know why you're voting for him? Um, I mean, he's been a good president to me so so far, but um, also because some of the things that Mitt Romney is saying is kind of, um, I guess, in a way, anti lower and middle class. So. I completely agree with you. Um, do you have any other feeling on how it's going as far as like are you do anybody you know like are they registered to vote? Um, I actually think most of the people I know aren't voting. Um, I think I mean a lot of young people today don't vote and they should so um, especially you know if they don't want someone to run the country that's gonna mess kind of them up um, especially college students you know usually technically fall into middle and lower class so um, it wouldn't be really good for them, so they should vote. <laughs> yeah, that's enough said. Well, thanks for your opinion. We really appreciate it. Thanks. So I'm here with Tommy, and we're going to ask you a few questions about the 2012 elections. Um, do you um, follow the elections? Um, kind of, sort of. I know who's running, but I really don't know a lot about it. But do you know who you're voting for? Yes, Obama. Got another Obamian. Um, do you have any reasons why you're voting for him? Um, yeah, because I'm still a student here, so you know I, I don't want to pay for health insurance, and for to me to have that opportunity to, to be under my parents' health insurance until I'm 26, you know, helps me out a lot. Is a lot of people that you know um, registered to vote? Um, no, actually, a lot of my friends aren't registered to vote, but I am. Well, at least we got you. But thanks for your input, and we really appreciate it. All right, thank you. So as I take this little walk on Westchester's campus, I realize that a lot of people aren't registered to vote. Now, what does that say about our young population now? I don't know. Maybe we can figure that out one day in life. Hi, Westchester. So I'm here with Molly, and I'm going to ask um, you a few questions about the 2012 elections. Um, are you following the elections? I am following the elections. I watch a lot of the CNN, Fox News, NBC, reading Politico. I'm taking a communications class on politics. So You seem pretty um, into it. OK, that's good. All right, so do you have an opinion on who you decide to vote for? I think I'm leaning towards Obama right now just to see if he can, you know, continue his work and kind of get us out. Um, so far from what Romney said, it doesn't seem like he is taking everyone into account, just kind of the bigger people at the moment. He does have some strong um, economical stances, but there's a lot of things that he said that I don't 100% agree with. And Obama, you know, he doesn't have the best track record at the moment, but I am hopeful that maybe we can, you know, increase the employment rate or decrease, increase the employment rate and decrease the unemployment rate because being an 8% isn't good. I completely agree with you. Um, do you know um, any of your friends, like are they um, registered to vote or? All of my, both my roommates and all my friends are like apolitical, so they're not registered. I've been trying to push it. I like bring it up all the time. I'm asking them like, who are you gonna vote for? Are you gonna vote? It seems like I'm getting closer. I still have a couple of months to persuade them, but. Yeah, we've been getting it a lot. But you know what? We really appreciate your input, and you know, um, good luck with the rest of your semester. You. All right. Okay. Well, that's it, you guys. Um, you know, most people weren't registered to vote, as you've seen. And, you know, for the most part, it seems like us college students are going towards Obama. So um, I guess we got to just wait and see. And that's it. Signing out, Deepest Corner. Bloop, bloop, bloop. With God on my side, I can do anything. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I hope you guys have really enjoyed today's episode. We have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, all the variety you can really want to get in a TV show. Now, I want to end the show with a reflection. You know, when I think about my life,
and the people in my life. I I'm just so grateful that I have them. But here's what I want to say. There are some people, let's say you have a best friend, right? And this best friend, she just, you love each other so much, but you hate her at the same time. And sometimes all you want to do is just pimp slap her. But you know what? You don't. You don't and you let it go and you fight. But sometimes I believe this too, even a best friend, they're gonna come, they're gonna leave your life, right? But they're gonna come back, but you just gotta, that, that period that they're not there, you just gotta be chill. You gotta let it go and let go with God, go to church, do you, do you, do your schoolwork, do everything. Don't think about it, but when they come back, they're gonna come back strong. That's how it's always been in my life and I'm sure it's gonna be just like that in yours. This has been Diva's Corner. See y'all next week. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And remember people, Doctors don't know what they're talking about because they operate on dead people.